I think an emoji is something you can use instead of words. I don't really use emojis, but I've looked at them. I would use an emoji after a happy, sad or angry sentence. I would not use one at a funeral. That would be so awkward. I don't have a favourite emoji. There are way too many to choose from. I use smiley face the most often because that's normally how I'm feeling. I don't think my face looks like an emoji because they're yellow. And my face is olive. I probably would mistake the meaning of emojis if I use them because there are so many different ones and so many unnecessary ones like hear no evil monkey or face forward chick when there's already a baby chick. I don't know the meaning of hear no evil monkey. When you place it on your text, it might mean that your friend is not listening to you. You know, la 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 la, like that. I want a sheepy doodle emoji that looks like Luna, which is my dog by the way. And it's a gif that Luna wags her tail. I want it because I love my dog and she's so cute. If I was an emoji, I would either be a water wave, dolphin, or some sort of bird that can fly and swim. I reckon emojis are used by 50% of the world. Not many people understand emojis. You need to be creative to understand emojis. I don't think there's a universal emoji. Unless you can learn a lot of languages. There is no language that everyone understands unless you learn a thousand languages or more an upside down smile i'm guilty but i don't even care everything is terrible but fine i'm so happy i've fallen on the floor and rolled around with glee mm-hmm. self-pity or self-knowledge passing it off I got a message from my niece in Australia, and she's upside down. You're holding your phone the wrong way around. Something mildly inconvenient has happened. It is what it is. An upside down smiley face. Where did these enigmatic faces come from? When did we start to understand, or not understand, what they mean? In the beginning, there were just sticks, lines, edges. A new visual language, the first language of digital age. Originally a cow emoji. A Japanese face character designed by artists and coders to express nuance and more. Spread by telecom giant Tacoma, the emojis we know today descend from a series created by Shigetaka Karita in response to online miscommunication and confusion. Then, in the 2000s, emoticons became yellow. Emojified. And smugly uncharismatic. The advent of Apple, Unicode. Mistranslated. Translated by institutional coding. Needing a company to assemble them. Not needing a company to assemble them. Needing company. All that makes sense. To express our experience. To create our experience. To restrict our experience. To carry our experience. To reclaim our experience. There's more to it than this. There always is. But while we're here, together. We wanted to let you know. You may be asked to do some things. To move your hands. To have an opinion. Maybe. Or to sit, exist, nothing more. You may be unsure what's expected of you. We're often unsure. It's okay. It's probably our fault. Let's try and do something together now, yeah? Okay, are we ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's lift up our hands. Nice. And wiggle our fingers. Like this. Oh, fantastic! Marvellous! I've never seen such spectacularly convincing raised hands. You know what, Ollie? It's almost like the real thing. Like stars in the universe. What do you want to do next? We want to follow what you do this time. Mm. How about you in a lovely pink top there? Could you show us what to do? Movement, a gesture, anything? If that's okay. <laughs> Yay! 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 Yay!
You may have realised already that this is an experiment. But not like with the government involved? This. <laughs> this is fun. Hopefully. Maybe. You're here to share some ideas. Start a kind of conversation. Without you, we don't exist. Without you, we'd have nowhere to be. Well, no. Some of us have stuff going on. Right. Yeah. But <laughs> thanks for coming. So we're going to share some stories now. We're all going to pretend. Isn't that nice? Pretending <laughs> for a change. An upside down smiley face. territory. I name this sovereign territory the blank state and by planting this flag here I declare that the blank state has complete authority and power over this space. Everybody look under your seats. Yes, come on please, under your seat. Under your seat. Yeah, you'll have a little flag like this. Please. <coughs> <laughs> as per this constitutionally binding document, as of the 13th of April 2021, the blank state is defined as a sovereign space consisting of the Hen and Chickens Theatre. This is made official by the raising of the blank state flag. The symbolism of the blank state flag represents the core principles of the blank state itself, a place free from the tyranny of monobelonging. <laughs> it is a truly adaptable flag. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? I'm, I'm not sure I understand. What? Who are all of you? We're Who? actors. So currently we're playing humans. Can you tell? Ah, yes. Well, that explains it then. It's a human thing. What? Flags? No, 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 no. Emotion, I mean. For humans, it's important that, that we feel um, connected. <laughs> and those connections happen through emotions. And those emotions can be created by imagery. So a flag is an imgi? Uh, sort of. Not all images contain imagery, you see. Only certain images can help make meaningful connections between people. So what I'm doing is creating my own meaningful image. Only my meaningful image is a lack of images. So by creating an image that can have other people's images on it as well, I'm actually giving up control in a really selfless way. Oh. Is it working then? It's done what it's supposed to. <laughs> I think. <laughs> The next stage is to get the social media companies to start using it. That way the blank state will live on forever in the digital age. Only then will the blank state finally achieve immortality. Okay, you're gonna have to slow down a bit. No, no. 
You do not get to tell me what to do under our new flag and state. I'm free to do what I want, to be as fast as I want. There's no more queuing up in supermarkets. No more not being able to touch the exhibits in museums. And no more illegal possession of marijuana. But I don't understand what you're saying. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> to articulate your feelings. Why, well, yes. Do you find it difficult to know your inner words? What me? Equal can, can help. Feel like a Disney princess. Feel like that was a really nice eclair. Mm. Feel. Oh my god, you're so cute. What's his name? Hello, Harry. You're such a good boy. Feel the way you like. With Ecorp. Ecorp. Minimum 58 pence per use. <laughs> Me too. My husband thinks it's a waste of time, but he's not the one lying awake at night trying to decipher what our daughter's saying in digital hieroglyphics to God knows who is he. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you here? Gina, by the way. So, nice to meet you. I'm a bit of a polyglot, an emoji. Well, it's the future, isn't it? Oh, what languages do you speak already? Cockney and Dothraki. <laughs> um, and Cornish, a bit random. Barely get to use that one. <laughs> well, I'm Jeanette, and it's lovely to meet both of you. I need to get up to speed of all of this because there's some youth plans I want to propose to the council. Well, hello to you both, or should I say it? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm more of a kind of greeter myself, but that's the thing about emoji, it's totally flexible. Well, what's that one? Uh, yeah, I can tell you where my reading glass are on my bedside cabinet, but all I can say is don't get all of my lovelies. Well, well, cells is people hugging and mine is waving hand. Give it a go before the teacher gets here. Okay. Uh, actually, in, in China, waving hand means you become someone's sworn enemy, so it might be best to avoid it in that context. <laughs> you see, that is exactly the kind of knowledge I am here for. 
Evening all. Apologies, we're getting started a few minutes late. I'm going to offer you a refund, but uh, well, it's a free lesson. So. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, just here to assess the training teacher and not you, so please just be yourself. Selma, over to you. Everyone, uh, this is a language that I am really passionate about, all of us here are, and we're really looking forward to getting more and more people confident with using it. I've got your course objective form, so thanks for those. Let's get right to it, yeah? <laughs> Jeanette, this is a great place to start. Let's make this our spotlight icon uh, for the session. What are you trying to communicate with this emoji? Well, hello. Pretty basic. Come on, she hasn't got This it. is a safe space for learning. Let's <laughs> all try to remember that, please. Uh, Jeanette, go ahead. Why is this emoji? Thank you. <laughs> well, the eyes, they're bright and vivacious, and the, the, the smile is warm and friendly, and then the whole of the emoji alphabet, is that what they're calling it? And I think it's the emoji bear. Emojipedia is more widely used. <laughs> but it's the only black person, all the rest were yellow. Yellowish? <laughs> it's not always going to be like the role plays, Selma. You have to be able to deal with things like this. Jeanette, she hasn't know. got a glass here. It's it's your racism. Racism? Excuse um, me. I think that's a bit harsh and does it even count? Yeah, it all counts. Count. Selma. If you want to pass this course. What do you imply? What does she imply? My pronouns are they then. Should I be asking my kids their pronouns now? Or will they tell me? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everyone settle down, please. <laughs> <laughs> Zell, you are absolutely right. We should have shared pronouns at the start of the class. I will try to remember that next time. If Martin doesn't fail me. Gina, I'm sure your kids will tell you their pronouns in due time. Jeanette. I'm sorry to be the one to have to tell you this, but this emoji is not a black person. It's so number two, excrement, <laughs> an animated humanised pile of poo. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. A new toy will catch people's eyes. I think you're overestimating people. People are impossible to overestimate. Has anyone ever told you about irritating your optimism is? They never really stop. What are you doing? Drawing the toy. Oh, you can't just draw something new. Relax. We need approval. You can't keep doing this. I craft. This is my you job. You craft toys, not language. Folks used to do this all the time when I was your age. Things were very different back then. So, we can still write whatever we want. Since when do people get so afraid of making something new? Because they will find out. You're being paranoid. See, we'll sell out before we know it. <laughs> I told you! Oh, oh, I, oh, 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 oh. Stay on secure. Get off me! Please do not resist. Let them go. New stable identify. Cleanse it. Already? Now! No! Please do not resist. Then, then not resisting. Step away from the assailant. Stop saying anything else. I said step away from the assailant. It's alright, it's alright, let's let try to calm down. Stop that! The text contained an invalid symbol. I'm sorry. It, it was just a drawing. Yeah. It was unapproved. It was a fucking toy! All symbols need to be submitted for approval before public use. Did you help? Help with what? No. <laughs> the drawing. Did you help? No, stop wait! Mm -hmm. Do you need the lighter fluid? No, this should be enough. The symbol is still visible. It's destroyed. Yes, but it's visible. I remember this. I remember what? Drawing pictures, swirly lines and dots. You never did this? Never. God, you're young. 
<laughs> I'm getting the lighter fluid. You're being excessive! We've done enough! You have a job to do? Where's the apprentice? They didn't do anything. We have a quota to fill. Funds them. Sorry. Can you help? He, him, age 20, lives in London, England. She seems nice, got a pretty face, nice hair. Seems cool, cute face, seems confident. I have no idea what to do. If I message first, then I'll seem a little desperate, and if I don't, I'll look a little weak, maybe. Well, you know what? Fuck it, I'll go for it. Now, how do I start? He sent an emoji, a waving hand. That's different. That's different. <laughs> oh, she the sent me an emoji back. <laughs> Two emojis, a waving <laughs> hand, and a winking face. What the fuck did I send a winking face? I was just trying to show him that I was on board with the emojis, but now I just seem so, I don't know. Whoa, she's well above me. <laughs> oh, maybe. She isn't. I mean, she is, but maybe I could match her. I could use this as an opportunity to make myself a more extroverted person. I could be like her. I will be like her. I'll show her I'm like her. As soon as I find oh, out how- I just read it as well. It's not that I can even delete it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Why is he taking so long? <laughs> <laughs> What? Does that make him one of those guys? Oh, shit, she still hasn't replied. Was that not flirty enough? 
Should I send something like a little bigger? It's too early to tell, I think. I should test it out. Maybe tempt him and see how he responds. Just to make sure, make him feel emotionally safe with me. So how do I do that? Uh-huh. But it's too soon for bread. So I should really be sending the blue. But isn't that the point? <laughs> well, shit!
Tired of being like this all the bloody time? Mm-hmm. But what's the alternative? Cheers, Eagle! Phil! Happy Dazzy Jesus! Phil! To be honest, I've got a bit of a pain in my nose back. Phil, what do you mean you're going back? Phil! <laughs> There is a thing in my throat, this lump, this shout, this uh, shadowy fucking ghost, and I sometimes find myself literally reaching into my mouth, like with my actual hand, and as I try and pull it out, I suddenly come to and I think, what the fuck are you doing? You're trying to pull a bloody metaphorical lump in your throat out with your bloody literal hand, and you get your hand out of your throat, and it's literally bloody now, because you've bloody shoved it into your bloody teeth, which are also actually literally bloody now, and isn't this typical of me to do a thing like this and get lost between the literal and the figurative, and take like a massive ball between the- Love in, love out. Find the feeling. We're an eagle! <laughs> <laughs> one papa, use time to supply. <laughs> <laughs> Misery guts. Oh, it's all right for you to say you don't have a face like a wet weekend. Well, my eyes like a manic mass murderer. Oh, I'd kill for a drink right now. We're not supposed to drink on duty. Always working, waiting for work, thinking about work. You're lucky, at least you've got a job. Fucking a rut more like. At least we get to travel everywhere. I've just been to San Francisco. And I've got slouch, took ages. Seeing <laughs> groups nicer. It takes ages, get everywhere. Slow down, take time to enjoy life. And I got a bloody speed and ticket. Oh, lucky, you get to go on one of those speed awareness courses. Oh, they're great fun. A hundred bloody quid, that's what they are. Bargain. <laughs> you know, I'd like to swap faces for a while. At least I could pretend to be happy. Oh yeah? You think it's all fun, fun, fun looking like this? Looking happy all the time can be a right pain in the ass. But the time is <laughs> anxious and depressed all the time. Give it up then, do something to your friend. Some fat chance of a face like this. Hogwash. What would you really like to be? You'll laugh. Of course, it's part of my job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, really, really laugh, like taking the piss. I won't. You will. I won't. You will. I won't. I promise. Okay, then we don't tell anyone. I won't. Trust me. Because what I'd really like to be, like really, really like to be, is a stand-up comedian. (laughs) (laughs) You want to... (laughs) You want to be a stand-up comedian or... Brilliant joke. Oh, oh joke, but don't tell anyone. It's funny. Lots of comedians wear sad faces as part of their act. Really? Yeah. Got any other jokes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do actually. A ham sandwich walked into a bar and asked the barman for a beer. And the barman said, Sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> That's wicked. <laughs> You must have loads of jokes. Of course, it's my job. <clears throat> <clears throat> what do you call a cow emoji? <laughs> An emoji. Shit. Am I supposed to know? I have to laugh at everything. <laughs> it is. So you ever feel? Sometimes. What about now? They're firing me. They've got a new bod coming in, broader grin, bigger eyes, more teeth, laughter tears. (laughs) They can't do that. They can. They have. They've got a raft of new ones coming in. These words fail me. Mr. Happy Face is being retired. You're joking me, aren't you? Afraid not, or do I mean afraid not? It's not a joke. I know. (laughs) Everything's changing. Progress, they said. Heartless, more like. Time to move on. Language words move on, and we have to move on with them. What will you do? Keep smiling, I guess. Something will turn off. Like what? Learn a new language. Do a master's in happiness. <laughs> <laughs> but you're already 
be a master of happiness. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel better. I feel sad. Sadly, your job will always be safe. I want to feel safe. I want to feel happy. Come on. It's happy hour. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> Yeah. 
you. Now tell me, how are you planning on bringing it home for the blue team? I'm just gonna trust my gun, trust my team, and try and have some fun. All right, that's what I like to hear. Give it up, blue team! <laughs> now, the first round of our game is Name That Tune! But before we get started, let's hear the prizes for the first round. Red team, should you win, I will reveal the true identity of Jack the Ripper. Ooh. And for the blue team, your win will be the truth about the Zodiac Killer. Could we make it so we both get Zodiac? Uh, Jack the Ripper's interesting, but some of Zodiac's victims is still alive. Yeah, it's an ongoing criminal case. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, you know what? Fuck you two. Nobody gets prizes now. <laughs> okay, the first round of our game is Name That Tune! And your first hint comes in the form of some musical mastery from yours truly. Considered by some to be his best work? <clears throat> no, it's never been exhibited. That's right. And it never will be, unless you win. A Russian oligarch bought it for $203 million, and he keeps it in his bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But what would you do if I lose? Nothing. See, it's fine! <laughs> He's hiding something, I love it! Oh, oh. If I lose, he destroys all of Maya Angelou's works. But if you lose, the polio vaccine stops working. But that's an impossible decision! <laughs> or is it? It's time for the sudden death round of What Do You Choose? Red team, blue team, it's all down to you. It's time to decide who will win and who will lose. What the fuck is this? Okay, studio audience, let's have the lights up. It's time to cast your votes. You have two options tonight. We're either destroying the complete works of Maya Angelou or we're destroying the polio vaccine. And to the air for Maya Angelou. Kill <laughs> And hands in the air for the polio vaccine. <laughs> and we have a clear winner. It's bad news for everyone born in the last 66 years. <laughs> but it's great news for the lovers of the rich literary history of Maya Angelou. Was this our fault? Did we even have a choice? I'm your host, Disco Dancing Man, and I'll see you next time on What Do You Choose? <laughs> required to express myself in the manner desired is not in existence, nor shall it be unless I fill the void with an expression of my lack of expression. What?
see. Why don't I just do that? <laughs> because you like me. is unveiling its newest batch of 157 emojis for worldwide usage. New hairstyles, red hair, white hair, no hair, curly hair. New edible animals, like lobsters, a pirate flag to join the red flag, the white flag, the black flag, the Japanese flag with two different angles and the checkered flags that we already have. What there isn't is a transgender flag. It's 2018, where's the transgender pride flag Unicode? It's like it doesn't even cross their mind. The pirate flag crosses their mind though. The lobster. For thousands of development hours and dollars, the lobster emoji crosses their mind. For three whole months of the Unicode Emoji Subcommittee, the lobster emoji crosses their mind. <laughs> From January to March, they think about lobsters. It's outstanding work. Then, in April, the Unicode Technical Committee takes up the relays. Each of them thinks about lobster emojis for 90 days and nights. <laughs> then, with a draft candidates list of emojis in hand, Unicode asks Google, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, Adobe, IBM and Netflix for their thoughts. Each of them thinks about lobsters for 2,000. 190 hours. The minds of the personnel of the largest corporations on earth empty, except for lobsters. They vote for what they want to see. start to draw the designs. They know what the world needs. It's 2018. I quote from Unicode. Representation is vital for people who eat seafood, work in the fishing industry, and live in coastal regions. Activist Charlie Craggs led a campaign to use a lobster emoji as a trans pride emoji in 2018 with the words Surely we deserve more rights than crustaceans. <laughs> UK parliamentary bills and high court orders in 2016, 18, 20 and 21 say we don't. J.K. Rowling says we definitely don't, you should look that shit up. <laughs> this emoji thing, these celebrities deciding to weigh in, these new laws, they're all erasures, denials of trans and gender non-conforming existence, and they are all connected. Let's look at the data. Statistics say that those who regularly eat lobster have a lot more disposable income than, no sorry, I think I've got the wrong stats, even I get confused sometimes between transgender people and lobsters. <laughs> I'll start again. Statistics say that those who regularly eat lobster have a lot more disposable income than those who don't. Statistics say that compared to the general population, there is an overrepresentation of people who are white, wealthy and over 50 years old in the making others boil lobsters alive in pots of water for you category. <laughs> torture those lobsters for me, daddy. Yeah, catch and torture those lobsters good. We don't have a site in the kitchen or I can't technically be blamed. The murders are just a sort of byproduct of me getting to enjoy the world. It's just something that happens somewhere else that doesn't actually put the blame on me. Oh, shut up. Okay, so it's easy to make fun of that stereotype and have a good laugh. But that isn't the only population group that eats lobster. Statistics say that the number of transgender people who were murdered in 2020 was 350. No, sorry. I've got the wrong stats again. <laughs> Let me start again. Statistics say that the number of transgender people who were murdered in 2020 was 350, almost one a day. Not counting the murders recorded as accidents. 
not counting those who are misgendered after their deaths. Reports say that number's already increasing in 2021 by 300%. Statistics say that half of transgender people in the UK have attempted suicide, often due to misgendering from close friends, family members, peers, people in positions of authority, people who say, well, it's just a phase, it's taken for years to figure it out before you fully commit. People who hear sentences like that and let them slide, these things are all connected. The least you can do is agree we exist when we're right in front of you. Standing in a paddling pool, dressed as a lobster. The least you can do is give us an emoji because I don't want to have to remember any more fucking statistics. I just want to live my human life. In late 2020, after years of leaving us on red, Unicode finally releases a trans pride flag emoji. Thanks, hon. Great work. We shouldn't have to pretend to be lobsters for this. We shouldn't have to pretend to be something we're not while we wait, fight, and wait for basic recognition of our humanity and our rights. wake up. You haven't woken up before. You hear a voice. This voice. Shivery in the salt and you... Is this what you sound like? You look around and see what you can't yet name. Which you know as nothing. You look down and... You appear to have tentacles. Four of them. Tentacles. You remember this word. Where from? As you think. Your body moves. Tentacles. You suspect these are not yours. You are not this body. You think each time it's easier. That this body might be the echo of someone else's song. Somebody you knew, felt, once. Other tentacles wrapped around you. Someone who is now gone. Mum? You think you would like to look for them. In a beat. In a moment. In the direction you would like to go. Do you float up? Or do you sink down? Which do you choose? Up? Or down. Your body moves ahead of you. You sigh, exhale water, for the nothing is water, you now realise. It jets out of you, and you rise. You race. Up, uh, up, uh, until... You feel the glow of sky. Of your first ending. Close. Too close. You can't think. Your speed. Your energy. If you could just slow down. Take your arms into the tide. You, you can't. You breach the barrier between sea and sky. A thin membrane in the night. You think here. You will stop here. Finally. You don't. You tumble up. Tentacles trailing. You look down from where you've come and see the way has closed behind you. It's just more sky now. Stars infect the sky. As you rocket up, up. Until up no longer has any meaning. You realise you can't go back. You're cold, a new nothing, that only distant suns dare interrupt. You close your eyes. Your skin burns. Very fuzzy sharp. You feel that you've made a terrible mistake. Uh, you miss the sea. You miss you. The you before. You feel time must be passing. You can't be certain you're still moving. You don't remember the difference. You decide to think of... Mum? But you can't. Don't remember? You wonder, hope this is where she went? You imagine... Her. What she's like, but... You can only see you. Your rearranged, borrowed bits. You try to focus on her eyes, no, no her skin, holding yours. Eyes? Skin? Which do you think of? Eyes. Eyes. 
You close your eyes, you try to see her. Feel her gaze. You see the light. Swirling iris. Around dense pupil. Dancing like you used to dance. You remember. You feel her pull. It can't be. You blink open and before you, in the nothing, you see a halo. Golden stolen wisps. A dark hole at the center. An absence. An emptiness. An eye newly open. Huh. You feel the tug at the tips of your edge. You feel the move. You change course. Dragged down. 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 Toward. You pick up pace. You think to fight it. You wonder if it matters. You feel something like relief. Your cells stretch to breaking. Your body changing shape and... You're longer. By a mile. By a millennia. You are swallowed into... Her. You have found her, finally. And you ask... What? What do you ask? Where have you been? Why did you leave? Mum? You hear her voice in quantum thunder, she answers. What? You feel sounds. Like strokes. Like punctuation. You don't understand what they mean. What do they mean? Tell me. You must know. Before you can guess. She speaks again. You hear current. Deep matter. Radio waves. Sodium. Hunger. Magnetic. Care. Time. Loss. Choice. Palm frond. Fear. All words. No words. All colour. All feeling. Her voice. Frames. Existence. You could join her. You were already so close. Weren't you looking for her? Isn't this what you wanted? You could. Would. Might. Do you? Let yourself slip. Merge. Aren't you half her already? You might lose you, but... You might be alone if you don't. You... What do you do? Do you try to escape? Do you reach out? Hug her? Hold her. Will you run or reach out? You move toward her. You swallow. I'll swallow. You wrap your tentacles around her everything. You are so small. You are becoming less you and more her. Your mind grows. Expands. She doesn't hear. She can't hear just one word amongst a cacophony of meaning. Devourer. Destroyer. Tentacles. Nows. You are changing. Your new alien mind folds endless space. You hear her again. She calls. Is that your name? She said your... She knows your... You feel... Love. So close. Too close. And... And... You, and you are... Devourer. Destroyer. You are... More. You are choice. You are every... At the molten centre. In the space between... At the edge of shape. At the heart. You say... Goodbye. And you... You wake up. You haven't woken up before. Have you? You hear a voice. This voice. Your voice? You look around at the something and you wonder, you decide, where to go. Where you'd like to go next. <laughs>